Hey, wake up. Hey, what? Aren't you doing a video? Uh, yeah, well, don't look at me. Roll the intro. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to this video. I was thinking this morning, since I already had the spectrum analyzer set up from the previous Wawa pedal video, and I had a request in the comments section of that video in relation to this particular subject, today we're going to have a look at how the tone control affects your signal, what it actually does to your signal. And we're going to get a visual interpretation of that with the spectrum analyzer. So let's head over to the spectrum analyzer and have a look at how our signal is altered. So the guitar we're using today is a Stratocaster humbucker in the bridge, two single coils. Uh, it has one tone control tied to the bridge pickup and the other tone control tied to the two single coils. I'm gonna run it in number two position. So it's the bridge and the middle pickup. That way I can actually use both tone controls. So we can simulate the effect of one being rolled back and then actually see what it looks like when we double the capacitance across the tone pot. The signal source or the signal generator is the laptop like in the previous video. Uh, we are going to induce a signal into the bridge pickup using a headphone in proximity to the pickup, this should elect electromagnetically induce the signal into the pickup. And we're going to give white noise a crack first up, uh, which should give us a nice flat response and allow us to see what's actually going on in the clearest possible way. Later on, I'll actually play the guitar and I'll simulate, like I actually roll the tone control back so we can see what that looks like also. So let's turn on our signal source. So there's our white noise appearing on the screen. And we have a little bit of a peak here around the 1500 to 2K mark. But other than that, it looks pretty good. You should be able to hear the hiss in the background. And you may actually be able to hear uh, the hiss directly from the earphones jack. So it's not going to change when I roll the tone back, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how it sounds in playback. You may be able to hear a difference. So I'm going to roll the bridge tone control back. Not that it really matters which one I use. They're both in parallel in this scenario, and they're both the same value. So it wouldn't matter which one, but I'll roll the bridge one back to start with. That's about halfway. And that's all the way. So everything from three and a half K up is pretty much pulled right down. Uh, our range today is from 10 kilohertz down to zero. And I did notice that between three and a half K and 1500 hertz, the, uh, the signal was pulled down a little also. I'll let you see that again. So you can see that in this area here. Actually, it nearly pulled it down a little bit at a thousand too. And this is what you'd expect. A tone control is pretty much a very simple uh, low pass filter with a potentiometer on it so you can dial it up to whatever you want. So let's turn the second tone control down. So we're doubling our capacitance. And basically everything from a thousand up has just been pulled down even more. So I'll roll it back up so you can see that. And that's pretty much what a tone control does. It doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't progressively cut the high end off. Like it doesn't start like a wedge moving across. It just progressively trims an entire area down 
in a more or less linear fashion. It, it is slightly probably angled uh, to cut more off the highs than the lows. And uh, it kind of logarithmically does it too. Like if you notice as you roll it back. You know, it's not uniform, and that's particularly notable in this area. So let's see what it looks like when we play the guitar. And uh, we'll see how that appears on the uh, Spectrum Analyzer. So at this point, I'll strum through some open chords with the tones wide open. I'll roll one back, play through again. Roll the other one back, play through again. Uh, take note of the tone getting darker, obviously, but don't take any notice of the tone overall as uh, the wide open tone was more set up for the sake of the experiment as opposed to actually sounding great. So I'll start strumming through and you get to uh, see what that looks like. So I hope you found this interesting and informative. If you enjoyed watching, like the damn video. Don't hesitate to share it because if you enjoyed it, somebody else is bound to enjoy it too. I've got about a hundred videos now and I'm hoping to make many more. So don't hesitate to subscribe. Have a great day. I will catch you later.